<laughs> music is, is, you know, is the, is the language of the world. Language, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to be singing the blues with this weather. There you go. <laughs> Very cool, Sounds good, huh? yeah, That was perfect, yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, especially Saturday, because oh. it is a, it's not a pretty looking day. Um, at all. I mean, we might, we might start out pretty in pretty good shape, but uh, as we go through the late morning and afternoon hours and, and a little bit into the evening as well, uh, we're going to see numerous showers and storms, some, probably some strong winds, heavy downpours, uh, kind of similar to what we had at times last weekend. Uh, but today, so far, not, not too bad. Okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's, just, let's just go outside. Here's a look through our Lee Circle camera. You can see some of the fog that we're dealing with in this picture, and it's probably going to get a little bit worse before it gets any better. Uh, take a look at the visibility outside. One mile over in Hammond, otherwise anywhere from four to five miles across the rest of the North Shore and the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Down here on the South Shore, less than a quarter mile in Boothville and in Galliano, three miles in Bell Chase, and an improvement in Homo, where the visibility is now at five miles. But at the airports, uh, the visibility is at four miles, and we're going to be dealing with that fog for the next couple of hours. An umbrella weekend. Uh, that rainfall looks like we're going to have some of it today, but the worst of it's going to be moving through the area uh, tomorrow. Temperatures are going to be falling with the passage of that cold front. And uh, on Monday morning, you're going to notice temperatures in the 40s in some parts of southeast Louisiana. And cooler and less humid air is on the way. So the air is going to be drier, even though uh, we're going to still experience some measure of cloud cover on Sunday and into Monday as well. But the frontal boundary is still. Uh, to the west of us this morning. There's lots of rainfall all along this front, stretching from the Great Lakes states all the way down into Texas. It is moving into northern Louisiana and into Mississippi right now as well. If you are heading up to Pine uh, Bluff for the uh, Southern Jaguars game tomorrow, the weather should be a little bit better there than it is this morning where there's rain and uh, thunderstorm activity moving through that area. For the LSU game, on the day, about an 80% chance of rainfall, but by game time, that probably goes down to about a 40% chance at that. 7 p.m. Uh, time frame, and you know that may change a little bit between now and then. Expect rainfall if you're headed to Tuscaloosa for the LSU game. Just just expect it, and probably some pretty hazardous driving conditions with all the rain that they're going to experience there as well. Right now, here in southeast Louisiana, we are mostly rain-free. As I put the model into motion, you'll notice at about 11 a.m. this morning, our rainfall chances pick up to about a 30 to 40 percent chance. Uh, looks like into the afternoon and evening hours, it becomes more of a North Shore, Southwest Mississippi event, and into the early evening hours uh, looks like mainly on the North Shore, Southwest Mississippi as well. Here comes the rain for Saturday. Most of the morning we're looking pretty good with some spotty showers, but into the afternoon, that's when the worst of the rainfall makes its way into this area. Uh, this is at 3 o'clock in the afternoon when the Tulane game gets started, homecoming. Uh, expect the rainfall for that game as well. It gets worse into the latter part of the afternoon and into the early evening hours by 9 p.m. tomorrow night. We've still got some of that rainfall with us, and that's going to stretch into the early morning hours on Sunday as well, but it looks like Sunday afternoon afternoon should be better. So uh, for the Tulane game, some mild and breezy conditions, about a 50 to 6 percent chance of rainfall. And at the airport right now, 74 with some fog and that uh, humidity level at 91 percent. 91 percent. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Much cooler air is on the way. Not a Susan Isaacs. Yeah, it is definitely muggy out there.